Good to have you around. Nice to meet you. How are you today? I'm good, you. I'm just fine, just fine. And um, how did you wake up this morning? Uh, so far, well, I woke up very, very good, praising the Lord for, for a new day. Wow. Everybody will say praise them. <laughs> when you praise the Lord, did you say, I guess you said the Lord, Lord's Prayer. Yeah, yeah, Which of the three did you, uh, did, 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 would you prefer? Forgive our sins, give us our daily bread, or lead us into temptation? I want you to choose just one of those three. I usually flow with the Spirit, <laughs> so I don't usually choose one. So, but, no. <laughs> but if you want me to choose, I, I, I would say um, forgive our sins. Forgive our sins? Yeah. Wow. That's wonderful. We need to renew ourselves every day. That's it. That's it. You got the point. Rodrick, you come to tell us about uh, an EDUC. You are the coordinator of EDUC Forum. Yeah. What is EDUC Forum all about? It's a conception of um, a Canadian based company, uh, Chrome Connections, with uh, the collaboration of the Canadian High Com uh, Commission in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. So, it's a platform where we encourage. Um, um, Cameroonians to uh, choose Canada as a destination for to further their education. Okay. So because we, from statistics, recent statistics, we learned that 22,000 Camero 22, Cameroonians fly abroad every year to go and study. So Canada having the top rank universities being high valued, we thought that well, it would be um, something very interesting to have uh, the Cameroonian students have the good, night, the real information from the source okay. so as to choose Canada as a destination for, your, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the, your studies. Okay. Uh, it sounds like you, 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 you're encouraging Cameroonians to leave Cameroon and go out of the country and precisely to Canada. You talked about the, 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 the resourceful nature of Canada and, of course, the, 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 the opportunities, study opportunities that Canada has. But we want to believe that um, you can go anywhere else and study. What is the advantage that the Cameroonian student would have to go study in Canada? Um, we have high-value um, um, universities, high-value, top-ranked schools. And Canada is a country where it's a place where, you, where it's uh, multi multi multicultural, mm -hmm. so people are from various ori origins. But most importantly, when you study in Canada uh, versus other uh, countries in the world, as a student, after your studies, you can decide to stay. Uh, to, does, to be a the permanent Canadian resident. government give that opportunity for sure. foreign students to, you, to get permanent you, residence? You just need to follow the process. Okay. You, without leaving the country, okay. after your studies, you okay. can have a post-studies uh, um, permit and then a permanent residence. And then you decide to, make, to, to live in Canada and then build your life to Canada. But it is important to, to, to know that this is not what the Canadian government is encouraging. Okay. The Canadian government is encouraging, encouraging students to come in Canada, study, and then move back to the various to, to various countries okay. to develop the, the countries. countries right. But all but they offer the, the, the various uh, the both possibilities. So it depends now on the individual. What do you you make the balance? Do I go back to Cameroon or do I stay? Mm -hmm. And you do your choice. Nobody is, is going to force you to. Good, good. Yeah. You, you and I, we know studying abroad is not <laughs> like so it's not discreet. It's not an easy. Uh, you know, it's not easy. A, a lot of financial uh, demands. You need to have money, and here people are, are, are not prone to having money to go and spend. We always want to hear those opportunities that come for free. I'm talking about scholarship now. What are the scholarship opportunities that those watching us this morning and really want to go study in Canada like you've probably, you know, where they are tied? Now, what, how do they go up? Are there scholarship opportunities? If yes, how do they access these opportunities? Um, the most uh, important scholarship opportunities are for doctoral studies, okay. I would say. There are kind of some, some scholarship opportunities for, for undergraduates, but um, it is easy to get that once you're there after the first year. Okay. Then you can have what we call in some schools like Boost or Boost de l'Excellence and, and so forth. Um, it is very important to let people know that uh, we don't, people communicate various and, and tell people, well, there, there are a lot of scholarships. There are scholarships, yes, but it's better to be there first before okay. applying for mm -hmm. a scholarship. Yeah. Yeah, though, although I know some institutions that offer you a scholarship, you can have a, a tuition fee of $6,500, and then for the first year, they say, okay, we're going to wait $2,500, and you're going to pay just $4,000. Okay. Those things, those kind of, some, some schools offer that kind, those kind of opportunities. Okay. And uh, this, other, uh, this other worry, uh, you know, there are a lot of scammers out there. Yeah. You find people who come and tell you, uh, it's the management of this or that university, they give you some juicy stuffs, and, you know, you may just want to embark on the uh, registration process by maybe paying some money. At the end of the day, you discover that this way, just scam as and dupes, they go with your money. So how do people know that this, like for instance, I want to Google and get registered, or how is, even, how is it done? I have my money, I want to study in Canada. How do I go about having a school and being sure, being uh, certain that this is the right school? This is why we organize such a forum, to 
equip the students with the right information on how to apply for, his, for an, an admission, how to have an admission into a university, and how to um, apply for a study visa, so a study permit. So the, we have some flyers that we distribute. Okay. And, and on one side of, of the flyer, you have the, the, step, the various steps in, that are listed in numbers. Okay. And then they can contact the Canadian High Commission to okay. have some, some details, or contact us to have more, more information. Okay. But uh, the first thing to do is to have a letter, uh, an admission letter. It goes by maybe searching to Google, or you, have, you, you already know some univer university that you want to you go. And then you apply for, a, for, a for a, uh, an admission letter mm -hmm. uh, based on what you want to study. Right. And then if you, if you fulfill all the requirements, you have a, an admission letter. And then you move to the next step, which is the, uh, the study permit. You apply for, uh, for the study permit through perhaps the, uh, the Canadian High Commission, or maybe online. Okay. And then you have, you have the answer. A couple of weeks later. Good stuff there. You're talking about the forum. Uh, when when is it? Can you tell us? Um, where we had a press conference last week, uh -huh. last week Wednesday, at the Canadian High Commission on the 14th. Yeah, okay. with the Canadian High Commissioner, it was there presented it, and then uh, we moved to Douala, Lycée Jos, uh, Collège Laurier, Collège La Conquête. Okay. We uh, today we are in Collège Vogt. Tomorrow okay. Collège La Retraite. Uh, okay. On Thursday University of Boya, two o'clock. On Friday, we are in Limbe. That's uh, around uh, with uh, Canada, uh, Limbe. It's uh, Collège Sonara that is hosting okay. with some other in, uh, schools in the town. And then on Monday, back to some. That's it. That's all. So uh, uh, it's free. It's open to everybody. Free, open to everybody. Free information. We equip with tool people. We give people the tools. Do you have any contact? Me so people uh, probably are missing out on something you said, which is interesting, which has probably interested them, or which uh, has probably uh, you know uh, motivated them to probably get into what you're just talking about. Any contacts to, to, to for, for any further uh, detail or further uh, procedures for those who probably may not be part of that forum? Yeah. They may want to get the information or the messages or the communication that you, you, you dish out during your forum? Okay, there are two possibilities. Either they contact the Canadian High Commission okay. in Yaoundé, or okay. they can dial a number, 698 uh, no, 699-87-8822. I think that's the local coordinator's, coordinator's okay. mobile number. Okay. I hope I, I, did, not, I did not mistake it. <laughs> so, but we have, we, have, we have our international uh, numbers, but I, I can't give them here because it's, it's based for a uh, yeah, thing for, for Cameroon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks very much, Roger, for coming. You're welcome. We'll be Pleasure. looking forward to seeing each other maybe at College Vault. <laughs> you are going, uh, I, I don't have coffee. If you come on Thursday, you're going to have coffee. Okay. But I will wish you stay there. Then I'll be right back to, for, to have that coffee. Just coffee. We're no more talking about <laughs> the food. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We just stay there while we meet board in summer to read the newspapers. I'm sure you'll be interested to know what's happening in Cameroon this sure. morning. Sure. Okay. Just stay there. We are, we are very hospitable here. <laughs> well, I don't want you to leave now. Just stay there for a couple of seconds, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. okay. We are now going to meet uh, board in summer. We're coming up with the papers this morning. Uh, 